Hi, this is Chike Coleman, back again with another review, this time for Bel Air, Season 1, Episode 3, Yamakra, uh, directed by ne- Nick Kapus, and Yolanda Lawrence is the writer. Uh, after what happened at school, Will has an in-school suspension. However, Philip and Vivian discovers the principal didn't watch the tapes of who planted the drugs in Will's locker. Um... After, I'm sorry, not locker, his bag. After things got sorted out and he returned to school, Phil invites Will to a crawfish boil event where his fraternity hosts the event. So, Yamakura is a great episode because Philip is trying to reach back out to his base. Um, Hillary has blasted the... Hot Magazine Online, and uh, that's shameful to her mother, Vivian. Um, You've also got (laughs) the best possible team up between Philip and Vivian ever when they go ham on the principal for not even looking at the security tapes to see whether Will actually had the cocaine in his bag or whether someone put it there. Best scene in the entire episode. Um, Carlton's freaking out because, of course, Carlton believes that the cocaine in Will's bag and the whole issue with that needs to be resolved so that neither Carlton or his friend Connor get in trouble for it so that they, um, have clean records and can still do their collegiate sports. Um, how they achieve that is kind of dumb. They just blame it on some other kid they pay off to take the fall for that crime, which is really stupid. Um, but then we get to the meat of the episode, which is going to this Alpha Phi Alpha event where, um, Will and Carlton are both forced to help out under the pressure of, okay, there are certain things you want, like, I think Carlton wants tickets to a sporting event, some Grand Prix sporting event he goes to every year, and Will wants his boy Trey out here in LA, so Trey. Trey, pardon me, Trey can have those experiences, um, and, um, basically, them partnering up, Will and Carlton, goes absolutely horribly, um, because, unfortunately, uh, Carlton is a bit of a snob, and that comes across to the neighborhood crowd, who are supposed to be part of Uncle Philip's base, uh, Will uses his charm to get people back on Uncle Phil's side. Uh, And, you know, there's a lot of things that are observed at that party. Mainly that the Alphas don't really believe in Philip Banks because they feel like he went from a humble farm farm boy to a guy with a silver spoon up his mouth just because he got success. And that's mentioned several times in really significant ways at this backyard party. Um, also, again, Hillary is still continuously getting a grilling from Vivian's friends, especially the one who set up the Hot Magazine interview, uh, because she feels like she was disrespected, and because Vivian is soft, her little feelings got hurt that her friend is upset, and she's trying to force her daughter to kind of apologize and save face within the family. Hillary has no intention of doing that, and Coco Jones rocks that performance hard. Um, She really brings a level of both gravitas and vulnerability to those scenes that she has with uh, Vivian Banks and her friends. The best part of the episode, though, is without a doubt the horribly choreographed stepping routine that's done toward the end of the episode to get Philip Banks back in touch with his alpha roots. Um, But it does get people on side and it does get people voting for Uncle Phil. Um, Which I'm not surprised by because Uncle Phil is charismatic. He was going to find a way around it no matter what. Um, But the thing that I really love is that there's a bit of together togetherness for just a little bit before things go sour again. 
Um, and for me, seeing how this family kind of combines and finds unity, but also breaks apart at the slightest um, confrontation is really the bread and butter of what makes this show addictive. Uh, you really have that clash of cultures between Will and Carlton, and that continues to play on the mind of both men as they continue to navigate not just high school, but just daily life. Uh, and we'll find out in future episodes why Carlton, you know, smokes the Xanax he does and is so conflicting and confrontational toward Will later on in the series. But this was a nice bit of levity before things, in my mind, go sour again. I really love this episode and love what the writers did. This show is off to an amazingly hot start. I can't wait to see more. Uh, and I know that once I do see more, you guys will have another video. But until then, I will see you guys later. Leave your comments below. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.